I can cut this down. Hey, welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shows. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by. So many channels you could be watching, but you're watching, man. I really, really appreciate it. I got so many requests and so many questions about Gail. They said, hey, can you do an update on Gail? I said, okay, but, you know, Gail's a busy woman. She's got her own little business. She's a single mother. And so I had to center it around her availability. Well, I finally caught up with you, Gail. Thanks for joining me today. It's a little short video to kind of let you know where Gail is today, how things have been going. Let me give you a little context if you're not familiar with Gail. About 18 months ago, something like that, we met Gail when we were down the street here helping yes. Donna and Denise. baby Denise. And I come down here leaving, you ready to go home, and I see this woman, it's a black lady. She says, hey, brother, and she's been calling me brother ever since. And I said, hey, how you doing? She said, can you help me? I was like, how can I help you? She said, help me find my father. And I said, yes. And of course, I didn't think I could help you, Gail, to be honest with you. I mean, yes. that's a heck of a request. <laughs> and that's like a needle in 10,000 haystacks. Well, anyway, the Sunshine Shoulders community, we work together, and we found Gail's father. She's, he's an American. His name is Gregory Mitchell. She's never met him. And she that's her only wish was to meet him and maybe get to America, but he doesn't want to be involved, and we did all we could, so here we are, Gail, has life been treating you since our last video? I'm, I'm doing fine, but there's a little space in my heart, because my, I already know, I already know that my dad is already, is still alive, but he doesn't contact me. I already wrote him, I already called him because I do have his number and I do all the stuff and the ex-wife, the brother, the cousin, the, the one cousin of mine just contacted me just to, just to say hi and hello but he can guarantee me that I can talk to my dad or have a real contact with my dad. Oh wow, so he did contact you, the, no. the first cousin? No, yes, the first cousin. So that's your second cousin? Yes. And you talked to him? Yes, I talked to him all of all of the all of the, all all about me. Mm -hmm. And then what I what my father what is who is my father, who is my mother and then yeah. when I was conceived, when I was born, but he just put an interest to just to say hi, hello to me but he can't guarantee that I can right. contact my dad. So was it just online or you actually talked to him on the phone? No, just on Facebook. On oh, Messenger. Facebook. Oh, Messenger. Did you see him? Yes, because he has a picture. Did he say you look like the father? No, because he's not also familiar, uh, very familiar with my dad because he said that he is the in, in the mother's side of my dad. Oh, the mother's side, yeah. And I want to thank the gentleman who actually put this together. I've kept him anonymous, and I will keep him anonymous. I see that you have a little, another little daughter since the last time we spoke. Yes. This is Carmen. Hello. Say hello to them, Carmen. Oh, this is the <laughs> thing that I'm um, bringing last, the last time that we talked, and the, the last time that we had a video on Facebook. Yeah. I think you were you know, on YouTube. Yes, I think YouTube. you were pregnant with her. Yes. You hadn't had the baby yet. Yes. Yeah. And then I already have Carmen. Uh, she's already one year and two months. Say wow. hi, Carmen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your daughter. Yes. How is Come she? Here. She's turning seven this Saturday. Wow. Well, let me know so we can bring up some. You know, Boobie's <laughs> like, birthday hello. was yesterday. Yes. Say hello. 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 My name is. This. Oh, what is Look your name? Look in the camera. Say hello. 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 Say hello. What <laughs> is your name? Jo? Johanny. Oh, Johanny. That, that's okay. my eldest daughter. She likes to do TikTok. Yes. TikTok, I think. Okay. Uh, now, 
I had a, a rumor was going around that you were married. Are you married now, Gail? Or? We're still together with the dad of Carmen. Mm. So you're engaged? Yes. To be married? Yes. You have any plans to get married? Or? We haven't planned it yet because life is not that easy. Yeah. And then now the price of everything is getting high. Yeah. <laughs> we are we're striving to live the simplest life that we can live and to can yeah. provide for the kids. For the kids, yeah. I can honestly say, Gail didn't want anything from her father. She just wanted to meet him. But Gregory Mitchell, if you watching, I just want to tell you, you got a brilliant daughter. Gail graduated from college. She hasn't asked you for not one peso anybody. She's got her own little food business, right? Yes. That we see her over in Center Mall. She takes care of her kids. She lives a simple life here in the squatters area. Yes. All she wants is what was rightfully hers, her American citizenship. But you know how we think, everybody. We think that all oh, I probably owe child support. You don't owe not one penny of child support, sir. Dealing with Gail. And when I look at you, Gail, just, it just makes me want to do more by Booby. Because I can imagine <laughs> yes. what life was like for you here. You're different. Yes. You look different. I'm pretty sure you probably were bullied, probably, a little yes. bit. There's, there's a discrimination, and discrimination is already is, is very rampant here. When you have a the different skin color, different face. Yeah. And I just wanted to let everybody know, Gail's doing okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to put her contact information in the description, because I know last time, Gail got a lot of help. Yes. I know somebody bought you a motorcycle. Yes. You still got the motorcycle? Yes. To get yes. around. And she's made a lot of contacts off of our page. I mean, our YouTube channel. There's a few guys here. I know Greg Williams, Vince yes. Lawson. They really become close with you, yes. right? And a lot of people, they say, hey, what happened to Gail? Well, here's Gail. She's still doing the same thing, still striving. Yes, still striving. Still doing the business at the park every afternoon. Yeah, she's trying to do the best she can. Imagine this guy. She's never seen her father. 31 years, right? Yes, 31 years. Where were you born? What was your, what's your date of birth? June 19. June 19, yes, 19. 1991. Yeah, that was the time when Mount Pinatubo. Yes, Mount Pinatubo erupted. And Pinatubo was erupting, yeah. And we found this guy. Imagine that. Because what we can't do by ourselves, we can do together, man. We came and found this guy. And he was so angry. He was, you know, we wasn't tracking him down like bounty hunters or police. We just wanted to let him know, hey, you got a beautiful daughter over in the Philippines. She's intelligent and she wants to meet you. That's it. To make that her life complete. That's what you said. Yes. But my heart, my hopes and dreams are very high, still high yeah. to meet him soon. Because I know that God will arrange stars and a light. Align the happenings in my life soon. Yeah, we're on the one yard line. So if anybody's out there that knows Gregory Mitchell, just tell him to contact Gail. Her contact information is going to be there. She doesn't want anything from him just to meet him because we're actually on the one foot line. Yes. We did the DNA test. It came back positive. 99.99% yes. he's the father. It matched two of his first cousins, two of his second cousins. Two of them had the last name of Mitchell. No, the last name that the, that my second cousin contacted me is Ruth. Yeah, that was on the mother's, yeah, side. mother's side. But I'm saying the, the people we yeah. contacted, two of them had the last name of Mitchell. And your mother said that when you see him, you're going to know it's him because you look yes. just like him. Yes. Right? That's, that's the reaction of him that when... The anonymous one who helped us yeah. to get the DNA test, he said that is he is is he me? Uh, is she me? Is oh, that what so he said? She, yeah. so he noticed that yeah, the same that's right face. Picture, face. Yeah, because we sent him pictures and everything of you, Gail. Yes, we sent him pictures from each stage of your life when you were little, through high school, college, and she, Gail used to be a beauty queen here. You want a lot of. Uh, beauty pageants here, didn't yes, you, Yes, before, in high school, in my high school years and college years. Yeah. 
Now, I would be proud to have a daughter like Gail. Because big, my daughters are so damn spoiled, <laughs> you know. That's a big question in my head. On what is my, what is my, what is his purpose of not contacting me? Because I'm not, I'm not asking for, asking anything. for anything. And then I'm just, uh, I'm just, see, you know, I'm just telling him that I want to meet him because it's not easy. He, he's all, he's just, uh, he's still alive. Yeah. And imagine if Gail can make it here, although she's struggling, it's a struggle, yes. life is hard yes. here, but she's keeping her head above the water, above the water. Imagine if she were given her U.S. citizenship, what Gail could do there. So much we take for granted over there. She would hit the ground running, Gregory Mitchell, Mr. Gregory Mitchell. So if you're looking or anybody out there is looking, we're just a, appealing to your conscience, yes. you know, to help your daughter, because we're going to continue to help her as much as we can. Is there anything else you want to say, Gail? I didn't want to take up a whole lot of your time. People just, they were interested in Gail. It was a, it was a great story. Really. Yes, it is. The, that's why I'm expecting the last time that I already noticed that he is my dad. We already found out. I'm, I'm, I'm much, it's, uh, I'm much expecting that you will contact me and just talk to me just say hello hi how, how have you been life with you yeah what is your achievements what can you say mm -hmm. my my granddaughter and then he doesn't even come up yeah he's just worried probably that he owes you that child support but yeah i promised it i think you that's don't. the reason the child support that we owe 31 years ago yeah, but he, he it's, you know, the statute of limitations, I believe, has played out on that. Yes. But I believe that's what he's worried about. Uh, but it's, it's you know, it's neither here nor there. We just did all we could. I mean, I didn't, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't think we were going to be able to help you. Yes. But that doesn't mean that we, we couldn't try. And we did. And it was really a miracle, really, yes, that we did. found him. That we found him that easy. And he's yeah. still alive. Yes, and he's still alive. Every day somebody, is this him? Is this him? Is yes. this him? Until finally, yes. some guy said, hey, I, I I know where he is. I know who he is. And then he doesn't even, yeah. doesn't even show up. Yeah. But I still hope that God will warm her heart, or his heart. And yeah. he will just contact me. I will just, I will just, Include, include him in my daily prayers. Okay. That one day we, we will meet. We will be meet. We will mm -hmm. meet. Yeah. And I already put it out there. If once Gail gets her U.S. citizenship, we're gonna pay for your ticket. Yes, soon. <laughs> back to America, to your homeland, <laughs> because you didn't have anything to do with it. You didn't ask to be born. Yes. It's not your fault. And that's why when I make videos about having children over here, it's very, very important that we do the right thing. Yes. You know, I'm not a saint, but all my children are U.S. citizens. I did the CRBA. You know, it's nothing. I don't deserve a pat on the back for doing what I absolutely should do. Mm -hmm. And once we get all the paperwork finished with Booby, we're taking her to Cebu. Yes. And get us done because... It's just their right. It's their birthright. So thank y'all so much. Thank you, Gail, again. We're going to put our information in there. If anybody wants to reach out to Gail, offer any type of emotional help, financial yes. help, any type of help, <laughs> finding her father, because this is a great story. I mean, she gives me, she motivates me, really. She inspires me, rather, not motivates me, because I'd be fired up. I'd, I'd be angry. <laughs> I'd be at the U.S. Embassy every damn day once I found him, you know. Yeah, but you yeah. can't make him. We can't make you. So if you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. You don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs. Just getting off second ship and you're in your lunch break, you see somebody in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's still early. Yes. You got plenty of time to help somebody over here. 
Not a day goes by that I don't have somebody over here, Gail. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, thanks.